There's a lot of developments at the moment uh, from a technological perspective um, to enable us to reach broader audiences through our communication channels. Um, we have invested a lot uh, in terms of efforts over the, over the last few years uh, in developing an interactive uh, web portal to provide access to you know, information to a broad range of, of people in the system as well as the population of New South Wales. And increasingly also we can embed uh, in our website, um, um, you know, new ways to reach uh, in, in this information. Uh, new ways so that it's more tailored to different people's expectations on how they want to reach this information, but also what type of information that they want to receive. And, uh, and of course it's different for uh, patients, uh, it's different for clinicians, it's different for managers in terms of, you know, what is the information that might influence some of their decisions on a day-to-day -day perspective. Uh, what we need to do is to use uh, technology to really uh, diversify the way that we provide this information out uh, in the public. Many organizations like BHI have traditionally used printed reports um, as well as um, you know, radio and television media to uh, try to reach the population, uh, get the message out about good or not as good performance in the system. Uh, I think that increasingly we have a, a broad array of uh, perspective and, and potential uh, channels to reach people. So we're talking about social media, we're talking about an interactive web, we're talking about the traditional reports as well, but uh, increasingly provided in various formats so that people that really want brief information can access it quickly and those that want more in-depth understanding and assessment of performance can also uh, access this information. So we are looking at uh, again, really diversifying uh, our usage of technology so that we can get this information as broadly disseminated as possible.